Welcome back everyone. A local artist is returning to town with a new gallery and it continues to explore this large scale paintings depicting city landscapes and abstract imagery through faux phosphorescent, <laughs> the same, right, phosphorescent pigments and lighting. It's a teleprompter just fall. It splits it split the words the word. in weird and weird But the works ways. create different views with and without special black lighting. Our Jen Dalton knows this work and yeah. she went down to the Western Art Gallery where it's all being shown. Hi Jen. Hey guys, uh, so I came down to this exhibit on Friday night and I thought we have got to go down there and do a live shot at this. It is so cool and full disclosure, I know the artist so I may be a little bit biased but I think his work is incredible and I think that you will as well. So uh, this is the work of Master Phosphorescent Pigment Painter Tom Bacher returning to the Weston Art Gallery which by the way is part of the Aronoff Center, not the hotel. So if you want to stop by make sure you come down here. Um, it's his second sh solo show here and and to tell us more about Tom and what you're going to see here at the gallery is the director, Dennis Harrington. So Dennis, tell us a little bit about how you would describe Tom's work and this particular show. Well, these are unique paintings that Tom has created, and he's been working on this process since the early 70s, something, a process that he's actually invented, invented working with phosphorescent pigments immersed in acrylic medium. They have the ability to absorb light and then emit light in the darkness. So while we have them shown here under regular light and then in the dark with black lights, which um, accentuates the glow factor, the black lights are not totally necessary to make them glow, but uh, it makes them even brighter. So um, they're unique in that fashion. They're just seen in two different worlds, light and dark. Yeah, and when you come through the exhibit, it changes about every five minutes, so you do get to see them from light to dark. So I'm going to have Dennis go now and change the lighting so that you guys can kind of experience. So if you want to go ahead and hit the black light, it'll be in just a second here. You can see, first take a look at these gorgeous works. I mean, gorgeous in the light, but wait till you see it in the black light. And the phosphorescence, what it does is it changes the painting. So if you watch one of his landscapes for long enough, you might see the um, different pigments come out in the water. You might see a building. So there we go. Isn't that neat? And wait till you see some of the buildings as well that we're going to go over and check out. You might see lights go off in a building or lights come on in a building. Or if there's a sun set, you'll see the sun actually start to set. And I know Tom likes to work in this uh, technique that he invented. So here we go into a different part of the gallery and we're going to look at cityscapes now. Now, uh, because he said he likes to work with energy and these paintings actually kind of emit energy and you can see it change so as you're looking at this beautiful cityscape of Cincinnati you can see uh, stars there so the stars will slowly start to change you'll see maybe lights in those buildings start to either t turn on or come off it is so neat to see this work now if you're wondering about Tom Bacher he is from Cincinnati uh, he went to the Art Academy he also uh, attended the Pratt Institute uh, and others so he is very well educated, but he is just such a great guy and he's obviously very talented. Uh, so quickly, Dennis, tell us there are two events coming up where you can actually meet Tom. Uh, next week we have a gallery talk with Tom on uh, Wednesday, the April 25th at 7 o'clock. That is a free event uh, open to all. We'll also be um, previewing uh, a video of Tom talking about his work in a studio and around the city uh, that will introduce that gallery talk and the public will be able to ask Tom questions about his work and his working process. And then we have a Families Create workshop for children and their parents, uh, children 5 to uh, 12 years old. is a $5 uh, registration fee, but that's on Saturday, May 12th and Tom will be here to participate yeah. in that workshop as well. Okay, so uh, you can come down and see this during their opening hours, uh, which you'll find on local12.com. We've got a link that you can check it out and uh, both of those events. So thank you so much for joining us today, Dennis, and uh, back to you guys. That was incredible, Pretty Jen. Neat. Yeah, and thank it, you so it much. It brings up a sort of 3D effect to it. It's just really, that was really cool. Neat. Yeah. The gallery's open Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 5.30, and Sunday's noon to 5. That would be fun to do that kids' event, right, yeah. on May 12th? It's uh, 9.45.